Okay, so I'm sorry for my absence from YouTube. Uh, I've had some personal issues to attend to and I'm still kind of dealing with them, but I'm going to try to be more active on YouTube again. I knew I forgot something. Uh, so this video is just uh, one of many videos coming. Uh, so stay tuned for more videos, more advanced videos on how to host your servers, how to host multiple servers, uh, and use the trader tools or the trader mod, uh, hosting mods and opening ports, anything you can think of. Yeah, that's it. Let's continue with the video. So this video is dedicated like a um, quick start on uh, creating your own DAISY server. It's like a TLDR server hosting guide. So let's start with explaining to you this, what this tutorial will do and will not do. So the way I'm going to show you how to host a DAISY server is if you have your own computer or server at home or if you're renting like a VPS. Uh, it only works for PC players. It doesn't work for PlayStation or Xbox, unfortunately. And um, yeah, so I'm not going to go into any details. This is just the quickest way to get you up and running with a server. So the first thing you want to do is, of course, um, open Steam because this is where we get the server from. So go to your library and over here, you can select this one, the tools one. There we go. And then you start by typing daisy. So you will see a couple of daisy things here. So what you wanna do is take this one, daisy server, press install. I'm going to install it here on my C drive at the default Steam location. It doesn't matter where you install it. Press next, finish, and watch that blazing fast speed go. Now when we have uh, completed the download, we can go, we can close Steam, actually. And we go to our C drive, to where we install it. To Steam, Steam apps, common. Daisy server. And um, first thing first, you are going to have to edit this one, the server DZ CFG. This is the file that stores all the settings for your, for your server. So I want my server to be named like Nixon YouTube something. Something, something dark side. So there we are. Uh, you can choose if you want to have a password protected server. So this is the password to connect to the server, not to become the admin of the server. And that's it. You can save the file. This is also the setting for how many players should be able to connect to your server. So default is 60 players. There we are. And now you just do this drag out a shortcut for this one there we are and go to properties and after this string in the end of it a blank space and do this config equals server dz dot cfg okay and now you should be able to run your server now remember to open all the necessary ports in your firewall on your computer and also on your router in your network. That's important. Otherwise you will, won't see this server in the this server browser. So if we do like this now, I can launch Daisy. 
So we go to servers and I should be able to just go to community and type Nixon. There we are. And also on local, I guess. Yeah. So Nixon, this is joinable. Uh, okay, so I had a lot of mods loaded, I guess. So there we are. Uh, thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss uh, the future videos coming to this channel. And uh, have a good day.